My freshman philosopher professor assigned this exercise in forward thinking. He called it a bucket list. We were supposed to make a list of all the things we wanted to do in our lives before we kicked the bucket. Yeah. Cutesy. Anyway, I wrote down things like make a million dollars, first black president, you know, young man's wishes. I was gonna redo the list. Now they say in 2012 we're supposed to have earthquakes. So when it goes down, I'll just make sure to be somewhere they serve steaks. Might as well go out eating my favorite dinner. Hell, that December might just be my favorite winter. Because who's going to care about Christmas? Who gets gifts or gives gifts? It's just about who you're with in that instant. If you don't like your job, pursue what you really love to do. Because all this time that person selling themselves short just really wasn't you. I give you permission to be a yes man or a yes woman. Because really the only thing that you can control is what you're doing at this moment. So change it up. Take your current mind frame and hang it up. Treat your life like a snow globe and shake it up. Because if we don't do it, there's nobody to blame but us. Remake it up. Take the old you and flush it. I say this year, we all just say f*** it and do what's on our list before we kick the bucket. It's what we call a global killer. The end of mankind. Very superstitious. Nothing would survive, not even bacteria. We got months, right? A year, maybe. We could do this. We should do this. If you hate taxes, here's what you ought to do. Don't pay them. Because if we're all dead, who's going to be there to audit you? I say we do it like Peter from Office Space. I'm going to go balls out and say, where's my health care to my boss's face? You know what? You can even dock my pay. Because to see the look on your face will be priceless and worth the cost to say. In all you closet cases, why is your conscience constipated? Why are you holding it in? Why are you living in these closet spaces? Come on, out with it. Say you like a guy's ass or a girl's ass. I won't even bat an eyelash. Because if you've gone this long without being accepted, maybe someone else has gone just as long without being affected by you. Because if someone doesn't know you love them, then tell them so. And if you can't say it to their face, email or use a telephone. Man, it doesn't make sense this year to be holding back. Because once we're all dead... There ain't no going back. I can't go back, can I? When you believe in things that you don't understand, you suffer. I thought it wasn't real. Your mind makes it real. Superstition ain't the way. You're the one crying you never took a shot. Here's your chance. My chance to what? Make a fool of myself? Never too late. This year, some of us are going to lose some people. It doesn't matter how much money you have. A human life is but one movie. You can't produce a sequel for that person. But I say we get close to the people that have bore the same last name through the prequel to what's now showing and then onto the sequel. Because family is the crux. Family are the ones that will love you no matter how many times you f*** up. Even though they know they shouldn't. But family can be your closest friends that uphold the trend of holding you up like a poster pinned up to the wall of a female 10 year old that's in love with the Olsen twins. Through the ups and downs and the places you move to, you gotta be thankful for the people that won't go away, aka the faces you're glued to. The ones that you plan to be taking a plane or taking a choo-choo train to, whether across the nation or the jump of a neighborhood to you. This year, I want to hang out with the people that are too positive. The people that'll have a hand in every good idea and it doesn't matter whose cause it is. I still have to check off that I'm going to have a part in changing the world. If I can get you to believe, me and you were both one and the same in the world. To conclude, all I got to say is be around those that love you. But in 2012, if you had a moment to take the chance to be totally crazily happy... Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? The way I see it, we can lay around here hoping for a miracle in some bullshit science experiment. Or we can put some moves on.